Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for is this going to be new love or is this going to be an ex return? So uh, this is going to be a pretty extensive reading because I'm going to ask a lot of different questions. So guys, feel free to stop the video, take notes. Okay, go back, we go over things. This is going to be a pretty long, extensive video. So, and we're going to, I'll, uh, it's going to be part one will be new love. Part two will be ex returns. Okay. On this video. And also my darlings, if you like a personal reading, me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. Also my beautiful darlings, I have a brand new channel. It's called JWZ mysteries. All the information is in the description box below. So if you're a fan of unsolved true crime story mysteries or mysteries or paranormal, you may want to check out my new channel. What I do is I look at the mysteries and then I break it down via tarot to see what the truth of the situation is. And so if you guys are interested the information is in the description box below, I also have a link in the community tab. All right, so let's jump right in here. So as I said, there's going to be multiple questions. So I'm going to shuffle all three decks first, just so we can just kind of just go through it. All right. So when it comes to new, we're going to start with new love and then we're going to go into extra returns. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. Tell me the potential for Aries for a new love connection. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's going to be deck one. All right. Okay. I'm going to do three rounds on this just because I just want more information. You're going to see why in a minute, okay? The more information you have, the better off you are. So the bottom of the deck, we see there's some kind of responsibility burdens. Uh, somebody's really overwhelmed. Something needs to be completed. There's a hopeful energy. Seven of Cups tells me options, choices. Okay, so what's the potential for Aries for new love? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, this one we're only going to do one round. Okay, and then it's the last deck here. What's the potential for Aries new love? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I could have done all the shuffling off the of camera, but I want you guys to see what's going on. I know you guys have told me in the comments that, you know, people can put the story the way they want to put it in and you don't know whether or not that that's the way it's really coming out. So that's why I shuffle on camera. All right. So, so the first uh, situation is what's currently going on. So if we look at these cards here, let me just move this out of the way. You see, there's new love. We see that there's restrictions and boundaries. We see that there is somebody who is checking you out. Okay. Uh, there could be something official about this situation. Okay. There could be a scheduling issue. It does look like somebody's trying to get your attention. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. It does look like somebody is not in agreement of the situation. And it's a, like, I need to defend my position. Well, we see there's some kind of good news here and a victory here. Okay. And possibly some kind of love connection, but we're going to go further to see, but this is the current situation. Okay. So let's keep going. All right. So the next question is the blockages here. Okay. And what did I say? Oh, uh -huh, that makes sense. The blockages for new love seems to be money and finance some indecisions. Again, queen of pentacles could be a mother energy. It could be something to do with like what is going to happen with the long term. could be something to do with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, a lack of patience, needing to invest time in a situation or something about the situation is not making you completely happy. 10 of cups. 
All right, seven talks about a lot of overanalyzing, trying to get some kind of advice because queens represent advice. There's some indecisions because of money and finance or something of a uh, strong value. All right, so let's keep going. All right, so we see now that the next question is, why have, um, have I been unable to move forward? Okay, we got stress and anxiety. We have the messenger, we have the 10 of swords, we have the chariot, and we have the ace of pentacles. Okay, why haven't you been able to move forward? Well, obviously we're seeing that there could be a lot of stress and anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of concern, a lot of self-doubt. And good news, okay, uh, something to do with a letter message or document, still getting over some kind of hurt or pain, 10 of swords energy, feeling like you're still in a tough cycle, okay? Desires, something about your desires, your willpower for this offer, this new beginning, or some of you guys really want something long-term, something more solid, a solid offer. Okay, going down the next layer here. The next layer is how do you remove the blockages? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So how do you remove the blockages? Well, you guys made me take an action, okay? You guys already know, book card energy, that you gotta fight for this. You guys have all the tools you need. You can manifest what you want, but you gotta figure out what you want emotionally. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, going to the next question here. The next question is, where should you be focused on? Where should your focus be? Okay, that's interesting. So for finding new love, what new, new love potential, where should your focus be? Who do you have chemistry with? There's something to do with travel for some of you guys, foreign or focusing on change because we see that there seems to be a lot of focus on what happened before in the past. And I feel like surrendering also, Emperor Card Energy saying surrender to the situation. Okay, also work for some of you guys because we did see money and finance as a factor for the new love situation. Six of Swords also says, look, know that you're gonna see a light in the tunnel here, that you can heal your situation. Six is talk about healing, recovery, and love. Let's just go across. What should your focus be on? Who are you attracted to? This could happen during travel for some of you guys or focus on the chemistry and passion. We see long distance for some of you guys, okay? Or some kind of change in your regrets. Making a power move towards healing, recovery, and lo love, and seeing the light at the end of the channel. Know you're gonna overcome your barriers here because it's a lot of self-doubt going on too. Okay, going further. Next question is where, okay. Um, what are the next best steps? All right, let me move this out of the way so you guys can see. Next best steps. Next, next best steps are socializing, being honest with yourself about what you want, okay? Not being sad about pleasure seeking, okay? Or letting someone know, look, I'm looking for something serious, okay? Looking at a potential opportunity, okay? Passionate one, and really giving that some thought. Slow walk the situation so that things can go into a serious direction with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Have the confidence, the courage, the strength to know that you are beautiful, you're attractive, whether male or female, okay? Know that you can hold on to the situation, okay? See this from a new way and a new perspective instead of looking at what happened to you before, right? See every situation as a new situation, a fresh new situation. Not saying, okay, this happened to me before, this is what's gonna happen again. But getting new perspective about that. 
having a clean slate. And how do you do that? You forgive yourself, you forgive the other people that you dated before or the other situations that were involved. And you come at this situation like it's a brand new situation, right? And it's also saying not to be naive about this potential situation of passion, okay? Because obviously you guys want a serious connection. You want something more long-term. You gotta be honest about that when you're socializing because you're getting sad about this sense that these people are that, you, that are seeking you are just pleasure seeking for a potential passionate situation. But give it some time, some thought, and slow walk at Knight of Pentacles energy. Take things slow. You'll be able to hold on to the situation, okay? and know that you're chosen, okay? You're attractive, you have value. So if you don't feel that someone's treating you with value, you don't deal with that person. Okay, so let's now talk about, do you have potential in the next three months for love connection here, a new love connection? All right, we see a letter, message, or document. We see some waiting. We see a commitment. We see eight of pentacles energy. You guys, there is a choice, and it looks like it's either for some of you guys, it's at work, it's at school, it's an apprenticeship, all right? But definitely you're going to have a choice to make about this, and we see work or something to do with money and finance around this new love situation. We see that there is waiting and being patient here for a text message letter or document, because what did we see in the current? We literally saw in the current, right, that there was a new love connection coming. However... I would say that you're going to have to make a decision here and you're going to have to put the effort into this or the effort has to be put into a commitment here to being patient for this text message, a letter or document. So some kind of communication is coming in for you guys. So just, just know it's, it's not going to come together the way that you expect it to. That's also why I felt like the page of swords was coming out. It was showing me that it was not going to come together the way you expect it to, okay? So just get some different perspective or understand that you're going to have to be patient, okay? So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. We're now going to move into the X returns reading. And again, that reading is very detailed as well. But before we do that, I want to just get a little bit more information for you guys for advice when it comes to new love potential, okay? Of course, you know, there's no judgment here, you know? Um, you should do what you feel is best for your highest best good, what your intuition tells you, all right? I'm only here as guidance. So, can I have some advice in my Aries when it comes to new love for the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. So what did it say? Be honest, saying set your intentions. So if you're in, what is your intentions here with this new love connection? Do you want something passionate? Do you want something serious? Do you want love? Set those intentions. And abundance is your right. So it is saying that it's there for you. Okay, it's there for you to receive. You just have to be aware of your intentions. And it looks like because you're, you're such a kind-hearted person, okay, because there is this kindness about you, because this, you have such a good heart, that I feel like this is what's really going to attract this person to you. And it's saying give without expectations. What do I mean by that? We have a certain expectation a lot of times we go into a connection. Like, you know, we, 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 we want that person to know, okay, here's our plan, our full plan. I would say play it out, slow walk at Knight of Pentacles energy, and just enjoy the moment, okay? You are setting your intentions. You're being honest. Look, I'm not looking for it. Look, just a you know, a run in the mill, passionate situation. I'm looking for something serious, but just leave it at that. You know, you don't have to say, okay, here's, here's the long-term plan here right up front. So when dealing with a lo new love connection, just play it by ear, okay? Live in the moment, see what happens, but just know, okay, my intentions are this, okay? 
and understand like attracts like. We're mirrors for this reality. So we have to understand that if we feel like there's something lacking there, we feel like we don't have value, we don't have the confidence, okay? What are we gonna attract, okay? So we have to be aware that if we're fully in our, our power, our space, we're gonna attract that and it's gonna be a balance. Really wanna focus on balancing yourself and making sure that you understand like attracts like. Live your bliss and what I say again, it's reiterating the fact that you guys live in the moment, have a good time, enjoy this, right? Love unconditionally with your heart and just enjoy that, okay? All right, so, but definitely Spirit is saying that you definitely have options and it does seem like for some of you guys, it's definitely around work or money or finance there, okay? So, when it comes to Aries X love interest, will Aries X love interest return? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we have the Justice card energy. I'm gonna do also a few different layers on this one as well. Okay, believe me, we have multiple questions to cover. So guys, if you feel like you need to stop the video or write some notes down, take some notes, that's fine. I know that there's a lot to take in with these questions. And replay the video again so it makes sense okay so there's some juggling back and forth about a commitment or a marriage and someone who wants to speak a truth okay is aries love interest the one ex love interest the one for the one one about is aries love interest going to has a, a lot um, a high potential for returning? a high probability of returning show me the cards I need to see show me the cards i need to see Okay. Okay. Does Aries X love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the high probability of returning? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Let's talk about the first question, which is how, what, what are they thinking about you? Okay. So what are they thinking about you? Well, we have the, the justice card energy. Okay. We have the world card energy. We have the money card and what's the next card we have. So they're thinking, I want to talk with you about money and finance and how to accomplish and complete this situation. Uh, when it comes to this decision, justice can be just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, okay, so something legal here and something you want to accomplish and complete when it comes to money and finance that they want to talk with you about. Or the justice card could be saying they're trying to make a decision to communicate with you of how to move forward. Money card also can represent something of value, so they're seeing you as something of value, okay. There could be money and finance that they want to talk to you about but they want some sense of completion. They want things to come full circle. That's what their thoughts are right now. Okay. So how do they feel about you? Okay. Oh, wow. Some good cards here. Well, obviously you can see that this person feels that they want to have uh, passionate exercises. Okay. They want to flirt with you and that they do see you as their true love with the Ace of Cups energy. Okay. And uh, that they do want to pay you a visit or they want some kind of good news. Okay, going further. So the next question is, what is the resistance in the connection? Okay, so we see the resistance is a lot of internalizing, okay? Looking at things that makes someone happy, okay? Ten of Cups energy. Not sure if there's gonna be complete happiness around the situation. We see a friend could be infringing upon the connection or wondering, all right, friendship and a sense of happiness, really I need to think about this deeply. A lack of control or control could be a factor in the resistance. 
So control and someone who's thinking about this as this really make me happy. And then a friend could be giving some advice. Okay. So going further, the next question is, what does the person want from you to make the connection work? Okay. Well, this one, they want to be surprised and they don't want to relive the same things that happened before. Well, what, what happens when we, we have uh, a situation? What, what was the reason why you guys broke up, right? So this person's like, I don't want to deal with the same things I dealt with before. I want to end these situations from the past, in these delays and challenges. And I want to be surprised in a good way. So going further here, what do I need to do to improve this romance? Well, you got to make a choice because it seems like there's a lot of headbutting going on about a decision. Okay. Got to have clarity. Okay. Be honest and have a conversation with this person. And we see, follow your heart, feelings, be real about your feelings. Okay. What's the action they're going to take towards you? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We see the actions here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it does look like they're going to take a passionate action towards you with the Nine of Wands energy. Okay. Passionate exercises there. Also, they may want to argue and fight with you about the sense of despair in their indecisions. Okay. So that's the actions there. Okay. So the next question is, uh, what will the communication be like when they do get in contact with you? Okay. So it's going to be a lot of focus on loss and healing and bringing emotions in the balance and still feeling a little bit stagnant or stuck or complacent. And you're going to be aware that this person really misses you or missed you. Okay. So is there someone else in this person's mind? Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a specific person on this person's mind, another person like that they're thinking about. They're trying to stay hopeful about their situation and taking an action to defend their position to bring things into balance. I'm not specifically seeing a specific person. Okay. So going to the next layer here. Okay. Um, will you be happy when they return? Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely, but you, you are going to feel like you want to put boundaries into play. You're going to be a little bit restrictive or defensive, but we see that there's going to be a lot of chemistry and passion, a lot of romance with the Knight of Cups energy and trying to gain knowledge about what's going on with the situation. Or some of you guys have good intuition. You already know. Okay. Going to the next layer here. Should you move on? All right. So this is kind of a yes and a no. It's saying that it's a neutral card here. This is a no card. This is a yes card. So it's maybe yes, no. So let's just talk about what it says. It's saying once you gain knowledge of this victory, because right now you're a bit defeated and lost about what to do. So I would say at this time, I feel like until you gain that knowledge, that know, knowing that, that there is going to be some kind of victory, I feel like you're going to be in this defeated kind of energy. So at this time, it's not the best decision to move on. And let's just go with the next card here. Yeah. Really think about this deeply. Okay. Cause there may still be some spiritual lessons to be learned with this person. Okay. All right. So. Now the next question is, will they reconcile? Well, it, in the next three months, we see the Empress, which talks about beauty and attraction and this heartache here. We see that there's still some waiting going on. Okay. Let's go to the next layer. There's still some healing happening here. So I would say that, um, at this time, it's still saying that it's still hopeful because we see the waiting card, but it could take a little bit longer. So you guys are going to have to be patient because still some things are being healed here, but there's definitely beauty and attraction and a lot of potential to reconcile, but it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay. So I just say no at this time. Okay. But spirit is saying that, that things are going to happen because it's saying waiting. Okay. And we see that there's some kind of heartache. That's the reason why. And that has to be healed. 
and there has to be a confidence level that has to be gained here with the Empress card, okay? But it is saying that there's still attraction here, there's still beauty, there's still heartache, but just wait and be patient here for things to heal, okay? And I'm gonna get some advice for you guys. Can I have some advice when it comes to my Aries, when it comes to the ex love interest? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So, Spirit is saying, listen to your intuition, or there's some spiritual lessons that need to be learned here. What did I say, guys? It's saying, possess self confidence. When I saw the Empress, I knew right away that one of the things you guys need to work on, because we go through these, these situations for a reason, spiritual reasons, and your reason is you have to work on your self-confidence. And it's saying, accept the struggles as a lesson, what I say. So once the lesson is learned, and you're aware of the reason why this soulmate has come into your life, then you'll be able to move forward. See, it's about your intentions. Calm is not a weakness and be inspiring to others. So they're saying through these lessons that you're gaining from this experience, you'll be able to help and inspire others with their self-confidence, with their value. And we also, again, saying, listen to your higher self, listen to your internal guidance. All right, my beautiful Aries, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. As I said, this is going to be a very extensive reading. All right, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.